Right guys, we're back this week and we are going to be taking on another one of the great indoors activities. So if you guys are going for any awards or badges at the moment, this is one of the activities from our series that can go towards those. So we're going to be taking on the activity Get Smart. Essentially Get Smart uses the SMART principle to help us set new goals and targets for ourselves. So whether we want to learn a new skill or there's something we want to develop further. The SMART acronym stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Realistic and Timely. So I'm going to go through what each of the letters stand for. Specific means the goal we're setting needs to be exact. We need to know exactly what we want to achieve. We can't be too vague here. Measurable. How are we going to test that we are getting closer to this goal? So there needs to be some way of knowing that we're getting closer. Some sort of test. Achievable. Is the goal achievable? Have you got any experience in this before? Is the target too hard or too easy? So we need something that is, is challenging. If you've never done a run before to say, I want to go run a marathon, you might have to do some shorter runs first. Realistic. So realistically, in order to achieve your goal, how many times are you going to be able to practice a week, for example, with your lifestyle? So it might be a case that you're at school all day, so you've only got your evenings, and then some evenings you might be doing things already. You need to map out exactly how much time you've got for it. So for me, for example, I could practice three times a week. So timely. So taking into account how many times a week you can practice, what the goal is, we need to set a time scale for how long it's going to take for us to achieve this. So if I was going to apply the SMART principle to a skill, I'll give you my example. So specifically, I want to learn a new song on the piano. Measurable, for me, if it sounds like the real thing, so if I give it a go and it's not sounding like the real, the real thing, then I know that's my test, if it sounds like it. Achievable, I have a bit of piano experience already, so it's okay to go and learn a new song. However, if I didn't have any, maybe I'd look at learning some scales first. Realistically, I have work all week, but I have some evenings where I've got some spare time, so I can practice three times a week. And timely, I could give myself two weeks, that means if I'm practicing three times a week, that means I have six practice sessions. And for me, that's enough to learn a song. So guys, if there's anyone that you've seen doing something cool and you wanna learn how to do it, follow the SMART principles, set yourself a plan, and get learning that new skill. Next week, we're gonna be taking on an active challenge. So bring your kit and a water bottle, and I'll see you then.